What better way to kick off the new year like looking backwards to the magical year of 2021? Let's take you back to the past to talk about a man who loved ass and cupcakes. I'm talking about EDP-445. For those that don't remember, EDP-445 was a massive YouTuber who in early 2021 got caught by a group of predator hunters for trying to have sex with a child. He got Chris Hansen and then recorded at the scene of the crime where he defended himself by saying he wasn't actually there to fuck a child, he was just there for some cupcakes. And that kind of became his entire legacy. He's like the cupcake demon. Kind of like how the boogeyman was invented to scare kids into eating their vegetables. EDP is that cryptid, but for cupcakes. Like, hey, you better finish that cupcake. Your grandmother worked hard on it. If you don't, EDP is going to climb through your window tonight and talk to you about the eagles or some shit. So his whole thing now is he's been disgraced and banned everywhere on the internet. And I can't even begin to tell you the entire lore. This is probably one of the wildest stories I've ever actually seen in real time on YouTube. It, it, it just had so many twists and turns. There was a fucking crazy chapter in this whole thing where EDP sent a picture of his poop in a toilet to the kid. He, he like said, I ate a greasy pizza and took a fat shit and then dropped the picture of his shit in the toilet bowl to them. Uh, I, it, was a, it was a nutty ride, but anyway. Since then, it's been radio silence for about eight months. No one's really known what's happened to him. There's been tons of rumors, of course, that would start like he's in jail or, you know, he's running for governor now or he went to space and now he's a space pedophile. You know, just all kinds of things with no evidence. And last night on stream, uh, chat made me aware of a new video that had an update with accurate information and a breakdown of the EDP story and where he is today. So, I watched it last night on stream, that's twitch.tv slash moistcritical, I stream every day, I'd love to see you there, I'll put the link in the description, just please come on, swing by, I'm probably streaming right now. So I'll go ahead and play that for you now, and then I'm going to go over a bit more afterwards, because I've done a little more research this morning on the situation. But just be aware that in the clips here, last night was New Year's, so there's a lot of fireworks going off in the background, so that's that banging that you keep hearing. Chat kept thinking I was kicking my desk, which confuses me, because it's not like my desk is made out of nitroglycerin, it's not going to make like that kind of massive bang. So yeah, just a quick heads up there. The EDP445 video we're watching comes from YouTuber SunnyV2, who did a great job of researching the topic and getting all of the information out there. Okay, let's check on the EDP situation. Apparently he got arrested and went to jail, but this would be the first I've heard of that. So, let's see. EDP-445 has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks as a result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. He's a- What? Wait, really? Hold on, I didn't get a chance to read that Reddit thread. Did he actually try- did he actually try and work at Chuck E. Cheese? There's no chance. Again, for those that don't know, EDP was the YouTuber who got exposed for being a, a pedophile or whatever, talking to kids and shit. He's most known for like the, the fist bump he tried to get from the, the predator catchers, as well as saying he was just there for a cupcake, even though there's like tons and tons of DMs of him confirming he was going to go there to try and fuck a kid. And then apparently now he he's been fired three times and one of the places was Chuck E. Cheese. I don't, I genuinely don't believe that. From a few different properties and he's now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. He had like three million However, subs. How is he out of money? In the EDP 445 tragedy is that Did he give it all to a 13 year old or something? One of his former YouTube 445 was caught in 4K on his way to pick up a cupcake. The topic was covered by almost everyone in the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you hey, have let's go! the EDP 445 situation. Oh, we're in it. who supported him in the past, such as some ordinary gamers, would have to We did that on stream. Needs to be arrested that was a wild Why stream. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was removed of his banning, EDP was exactly 30 years old. I like how it's being called the cupcake event. And when he was 19 years old. So the 179 million views deleted in the process Whew. meant that his entire portfolio of work completed in his 20s, 10 plus years worth of labor, was wiped out quite literally overnight. One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 44. It wasn't one mistake though, right? As he status. mentioned, there was a really history kind of, of mistakes, but this was the biggest. Work completed in the Charlie from 24 Hours in the Future, I decided to look into the other cases because 
As mentioned in the video, there was a lot of previous allegations, even before this one, of EDP engaging with minors in an inappropriate manner. So I looked into all of those, and for about a full year, a lot of evidence was surfacing that EDP kept flirting with and trying to hook up with underage fans. But somehow, for all of 2020, it all kind of flew under the radar and wasn't made a big deal. And it's not because he did a good job of defending himself, like his defense wasn't bulletproof or anything, he's no Saul Goodman. When it was brought to light a few times during live streams, all he said was, a bunch of no life, no pussy getting motherfuckers kept pretending to be girls and my dumb ass fell for it. And that's it. Like that, that's how he brushed it off. He basically just confirmed like, yep, I, I've, I've been talking to people I believed were underage girls. And then that was it. That, that's where it stopped. So I'm surprised it wasn't a bigger deal before this investigation, but this was definitely the most thorough with the most evidence and actually going there in person and catching him in 4K. But I'm just shocked that it took this long with all of these allegations out there. So as mentioned in the video, it was not just this one mistake. He had an entire history of doing this kind of shit. Yo account was deleted, another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers... Yeah, he had, so that was real? That was really his was page? The same story over on Instagram. His someone told us... Well, not someone. A bunch of people told us he made a Facebook page <clears throat> after the cupcake event. And I didn't believe it, because when you went to the Facebook page, like, one of the only things there was, like... <laughs> what was it again? It was... We watched the video. It was some like really goofy video. I think it was even just talking about football or something. And then he casually mentioned he wasn't a pedophile while talking about football. He's like, yeah, the Eagles are going to go all the way this year. Not a pedophile. Yeah, I just really have a whole lot of faith in the, in the Eagles. Or they're going to fly. I thought for sure that was like a joke Facebook page, but I guess it's real. Yeah, no, that was a after Cupcake event. So in the EDP timeline, there's BC, which is before Cupcake, and then... AC after Cupcake, and this was AC with the Facebook page. It really seemed fake, but I guess not. He planned on making his own website to which he would continue posting. That was videos. real too? CDP 445 announced over what? on Facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website no. to return to his old video. Man, EDP445.com. Um, it's coming soon. Been, been about like a week, maybe two No weeks fucking way, that was... Uh, again, just... So we've been we've been in this in this lore for a minute playing in the playing in the pig pin with all this this exposition here in real time. The the website I also was told was previous clips from older videos where he mentioned wanting to start a website. This was not after the cupcake tragedy. But I I guess that was inaccurate. So he really after getting banned everywhere tried to make the EDP website I don't know what the fuck would be on there besides, like, I don't know, baking recipes or some shit and then talking about the Eagles. But, man, my God. I guess all of that was real, and I was making fun of people who told me about it, saying, like, you're too gullible. <laughs> no, I'm the idiot. Oh, yeah, I guess he could post shit pictures on his website, too, which is cool. Kind of like a new modern-day Rape My Poo, if anyone remembers that from the early internet. Rape My Poo was kind of lit. It was just this community project where a bunch of people would take pictures of their shit in the toilet bowl and then you'd have a star system and give it a one out of ten and then you'd get to the next piece of poop it was pretty cool that was big back in the gears of war day people would often like disguise the rate my poo link as something else and send it to people in the community to get them to rate shit pics in spite of how much of a scumbag EDP445 truly was, you have to give him credit for sheer determination because he'd then begin to upload videos on another third party website what the called Big TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. What is he wrote, three speak? For some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. I didn't violate any guideline. Can you please tell me what's going on? EDP. That just sounds like some kind of student server. Like a university project. From each and every Five's Lift profile. Bro went from wanting cupcakes to driving for lift and his position god damn man why like even after all of this he is still taking these pictures this this looks like a predator why just take a normal fucking picture 
Driving for Lyft. And his position as a driver would subsequently be removed by the company. The situation would promote Reddit discussion, with one post stating, EDP as a Lyft driver, how the mighty have fallen, which received commenting to a very basic unconfirmed source. EDP also apparently applied a Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, so that is definitely a lie. Didn't seem to get the position. EDP 445 no So that was definitely a fucking lie. Make money online or in. The strange part about this is that when you try and search the court register from the Reddit post by typing in his name, Bryant Morland, it now states that there are no results results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer- Oh no my god. Moreland. Actually, see, I he could be anywhere now. Moreland Bryant. Submit. No results. He back. could be anyone. The problem with this, as outlined by the EDP 445 subreddit- Imagine he just changed his exactly name to like- Spot. This idiot- Borlin Myrant. He will be spotted everywhere no matter- Const Constant harassment the property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suitcase at various hotels. However, even then, his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens How to How are stay. they finding him? Everyone in here. <laughs> what? I will be more than happy that they're not- Thank you very much. It's like when Shia LaBeouf put a flag in the middle, middle of bumblefuck nowhere and people on 4chan found it using star constellations and airplane routes. They're finding EDP in his suitcase across the, the country. A, a global game of Where's Waldo. They're passing out flyers and shit. Oh my god. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd upload a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number, stating that it was EDP 445, who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. So the third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And what? I said, uh, yes, because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see, like, holy sh like, he got arrested, like, like, Wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least, and Felipe's and character is suspect guy. at best. He only gets views when he talks about EDP 445, and without EDP on the internet to defend himself, anyone can say anything. Additionally, True. if EDP did Good successfully point. change where Henderson is, Kern County, which is where Bakersfield is, and Manatee County, which is where Bradenton, Florida is, which said that he was connected to online. No Bryant Moreland is in any of those prisons. In the end, it doesn't really that was pretty fucking interesting jesus yeah i think there's a zero percent chance he's in jail for what it's worth uh almost every single time when there's like a vigilante predator hunter that exposes a predator the law enforcement throws out the case pretty much on the spot the shit very rarely leads to like incarceration for the people that they catch it's only in really rare circumstances like, even that PlayStation guy that got fired from PlayStation for being outed, he's not arrested or anything. But, I mean, even still, it worked really well here. EDP lost every platform that he could use to prey on children, so overall, net positive. Even if he's not in jail, like the video mentioned at the end, his life is kind of like a perpetual fucking jail, because people are still hunting him, I, I suppose. Still locating him. So, where does that put us in the Eat the Pussy 445 universe? Where is he now? What's true and what's false? From everything I've been able to gather online, what's true is he has not been able to hold a job because people keep making the companies aware of his past, so they let him go. He has been evicted from the places he's tried to stay. He is struggling with money, which absolutely blows my mind because at 2 million subs, and the amount of money that he'd be making at 2 million subs, he should have been set for life, so he must have a problem with spending money. Even though a lot of his content would get demonetized, he'd still have plenty, because demonetized content still makes money, and it's not negligible amounts of money. So, those are all true. What is also true is he attempted to change his name, but what's unknown is whether or not that was successful. It seems like his name change has been successful, however, can't confirm nor deny that. And what also seems to be false is the claim that he's in jail. There's no real evidence to say that he's in jail. It just sounds made up like the Tooth Fairy or some shit. The only source that says that is that YouTuber, and as mentioned in the video, he has incentive to, like, make EDP content and say things like that because it gets him views. So it's not the most reliable, and he didn't provide very good evidence or proof for it. It is also true he's been banned on every platform the internet has ever had, it seems. He's tried everywhere. So he's banned on, like, Facebook, Instagram, 3Speak, Cameo, fucking 
any website you could possibly imagine he's banned from. Club Penguin, Wizard 101, Discord probably, I, I mean, God only knows. He's tried everywhere in order to try and get back on the internet, and it hasn't worked at all. Every platform immediately gets rid of him. So yeah, that's the full update on the Eat the Pussy 445 story. I just wanted to revisit this since this video was recently posted, and it's a story we followed from the very get-go. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.